The crash was February 21st of 2009, so almost 15 years ago. That was the night Mindy Red got a phone call that her 18-year-old daughter Michelle was killed by an intoxicated driver in Houston. Her car went airborne between two trees and went the wrong way in hitting my daughter's car head on. My daughter was the passenger and it hit the passenger side head on. Michelle left behind her two-year-old son, AJ. The pain of losing her daughter took a toll on Mindy, but she forgives the woman who caused the crash that woman served five years in prison. I became an advocate shortly after I went and visited her in prison. I now, because of that, I go and I speak inside any prison I can get into in Texas. I do a lot of volunteer work with MAD, where I speak at panels for first-time impaired driving offenders. The advocacy prompted many to push for Bentley's law. Texas lawmakers approved the bill this past session. A person is convicted of intoxication and manslaughter, like you say, and they cause the death of a person that's the parent of minor children or child, that they have to pay child support and have to is a big part of that because it's mandatory under the statute. Kimbrough says the law is important in helping surviving children and possibly making someone think twice before drinking and driving. We've tried, legislators uh, have tried different things and this is that one area, um, and I include drugs too, you know, addiction um, and alcohol. Is It just seems to be, it's just a hard thing to impact. Red believes this holds people accountable while they serve their sentence. This here could be the start of Texas not leading the nation in impaired driving fatalities. Enforcing those who cause the deaths to pay the price for their actions.